Connor Ben. Congratulations. Please just give us your immediate reaction. 36 minutes, 12 rounds banked for the first time as a professional. How would you sum that up tonight in Vegas? Yeah, it was, I was in cruise control. You know, it was, um, yeah, it was, it was all right. It was um, about the hardest part, so. Do you know what I mean? But it was good work. You said to me in the build-up you wouldn't be surprised if this fight ended in the first round. You came out as we expected on the front foot, putting the pressure on from the opening bell. How did the challenge of Peter Dobson compare tonight to what you'd anticipated? Yeah, I mean, listen, I always go for the first round. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If I get him out of there, if I see an opening, I take it. You know, I don't miss when I shoot. You know, I took my shots. He was still standing. He was tough. But he was, he was in there to survive, really. You know, a bit disappointed. I come out, like I said, I'd come out. And, you know, if he had opened up instead of surviving, you know, then I would have got, he would have been in for it. You said all throughout the build-up, tonight wasn't just about winning. It was about really sending a message to the 147 division. Do you feel, still through going the 12, not closing the show, do you feel you've still been able to do that? Yeah, listen, you can always do better. Do you know what I mean? I always try, oh, I'll, go, I'll go back and I'll assess and no doubt I'll be disappointed with things that I've done, no, you know, silly right hands that I got caught with. But overall, this is just more for me, getting back to where, where I was mentally. And, you know, it was, uh, it was it's good being out here. Do you know what I mean? But the dream is fight back home. That's, that's the plan. It's for me to, although Sin City is amazing, I've got beautiful supporters all here. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that's come out. I'm actually pretty, pretty overwhelmed. <laughs> you know, I love you all, so thank you. Um, but you know, yeah, fight back home, as a plan. Once all this is cleared up, you know, I feel, I feel brand new, still lingering. Do you know what I mean? It's still in the back of my head. Um, you know, I just want to get back to just being able to fully focus on, on destroying people. A word on Peter Dobson, a lot of back and forth in the build-up to this fight, has to be as expected with, with Conor Ben fights, but is there respect uh, after the fight here? I respect any man who gets in the ring, but as far as him as an individual, nah, not at all. Not at all. And in terms of what is next, rank number five with the WBC, Avanesian just above you in those rankings, Josh Taylor, this is your platform, Conor. You talk about fighting in the UK, but what about the names? What would you like to do next? You're asking me, ask this man to my right, because I'll fight anyone. Anyone he puts in front of me, I'll have no problem. Promoter Ready Hearn, that's our cue to bring you in. Um, before we do talk about next, firstly, just your verdict on those 12 rounds from ringside. It was a good 12 rounds. You know, it was the first time he's ever banged them. And Dobson was, you know, he's a good fighter. He's cute, he's smart. You know, he came to survive at times. He defended well, he slipped the right hand, kind of failed to land it clean. But it's what he needed, like he said. He's been through a tough round. I'm glad that he's banked 10 and 12 rounds. And, you know, people will always criticise Conor Ben, but will they step up and fight him? You know, he wants the names at 147 pounds. I'm still absolutely baffled by Chris Eubank Jr. You know, people talk about him making 160 pound. No one talks about Conor Ben moving up two divisions to fight him. And he'll criticise tonight, he'll talk about this, but yet he continues to turn down a payday three times bigger than he can get anywhere else. So if he's easy work and you want to make the biggest fight in the history of British boxing, make it. But I don't understand why. We move on, he's tired of talking about him anyway. I'm just still yeah, baffled yeah, by he's that. he's a pussy. That's it. I see, that's all there is to it. No, I ain't got nothing else to say. But overall, Eddie, what, what is the plan for Conor this year? Just, just to be as busy as we can. The plan is, the biggest fight we got to box off is in a couple of weeks' time. Once that's done, we return to the UK. You can fill any arena, any stadium in the UK. Of course, the domestic fights, Eubank, Liam Smith, Kel Brook, we know they fill up anywhere, but we also have a job to try and position him for a world title. You know, and once we get that lingering problem out of his head, which he still has to fight with. People don't realise that. Every time he goes in the ring, there's questions. There's this date coming up. There's this appeal. People refuse to acknowledge he's, he's won two cases to clear his name. Once that's all boxed, the mind can be free and he can go and do what he does best, and that's to fill up an arena in the UK. So let's get this done in a couple of weeks' time. We're booking April, May. I want to deliver him the biggest fight I can in the UK next. And this is a good young fighter. British boxing needs elite stock and exciting stock in the UK. There's big fights happening around the world. This guy's got a big future for British boxing. So everyone that wants it, everyone wants to criticise, Chris Eubank can talk about, he's not big enough, he's not strong enough. It's right there in front of you. Sign a contract, give British boxing a big fight that we need right now. He's ready, he's ready at any moment. Connor, final one from you. 34 years ago, your father boxed just down the road at the Horseshoe, formerly the Bally's here in Las Vegas. You couldn't quite close the show in the opening round, so he might remind you about that over Sunday roast dinner next week. But overall, the whole experience to quite literally follow in his footsteps, how would you sum it up? Yeah, well, he wouldn't have remembered, but thank you for reminding him, because I can promise you now I'm going to get in here for... 
but the whole experience, one to remember in Vegas? Joe, you know it's a blessing, you know, how far I've come in such a short period, you know, eight years of, of hard work, dedication, from your calls to O2s to, you know, now since City, Orlando, New York, you know, I've, um, yeah, done a little American tour. Come on, we look forward to what is next. 12 rounds banked for the first time. Congratulations to you.